Hi, this is Dave Lawrence from the California Type Foundry. In this quick start video for FontLab 7, we are going to be looking at how to get your side bearings fixed up really quick. Okay, so here are some capitals from my font uh, Z Lite. And what I'm gonna do is I messed up all the side bearings. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first we're gonna just double click in there. And I want you to see that in here, you can set the side bearings like this. And actually, let's go to our H, because that's the one we really want to, to do. And I have Cousins on, so let me turn that off. Okay, so we just see our H. Now, I think the original side braids was something like 99. Um, we're not going to go quite that much. We're going to do try, let's try an 85, okay? And so what I do, the reason why I put an equal sign, and that's my favorite, is that if I adjust, watch this. If I even move this to the side, it moves back because... And that's really helpful when you are moving this like this. See, you can change the width, but the side bearings stay the same. It is great for when you're tweaking your letters. So put an equal sign into there. So now what we're gonna do is you highlight all the letters that are straight on the left. Okay, so we're gonna highlight those. Uh, and that's it, the U. Let's do the U at the same time, okay? And we're gonna label these, since we're doing the left side, uh, we're just gonna label that, uh, we could label that blue. Okay, then Command, Option, Shift, M, or alternatively, you can hit this thing, um, edit the metrics, the M, you can hit that. Okay, so, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna just set this equals to H. That's it. And then just Command C and then just populate this whole thing. See, it just takes no time at all. So look at that. So now all I have to do is I can go, if I want to change everything tight, everybody just changes like that. Or I could change it like that. So this is how I like to set my side bearings. Um, and also you can add, if you say you want this, for whatever reason, if you wanted the I to be a bit more than the H, then you could put it as an H plus two then that's gonna make it an 87 instead, okay? That was all just real time. Okay, if you see some other things, uh, you can get which ones have it on the right side is you can think of a church hymn, but just sort of misspelled like that. I just said all these also equal to H. Okay, now we've gotten our these ones set up on that side at least. Now we're gonna get the round sort of things, the things that are round on this side. And so I'm gonna label those a different color. Command Option Shift M and label these. Now we'll set those equal to something like, um, let's just try something like 55, okay? So, and, uh, and actually we wanna put that on the O because I like to use the O as my main one. And then now here is a tip you can use Instead of just saying equals 55, you can make it equal to the left side bearing. So you go equals L and then put a parentheses just standing for the stuff that's on the uh, inside the other side. And it sets that equal. You can also do it the other way. If you set the this side bearing like this, I can set this equals to the right side like that. And so you have it like this. Okay, so whichever way you choose, then just set all this stuff equal to O. Okay, and then I copy it into each of those ones. Let me put in a D here, and I'm gonna set him. So the D is done, done. So I'm gonna mark him. Actually, I'll, I'll take the, let's see what I do. I already made that one green. I should have made these probably a different color, like maroon. Okay, <clears throat> so that is how you do it. The other set, I will set, I will do A's and V's and Y's. I'll do those ones together. So a minimum value, maybe you wanna leave it, if you like it close like that, I don't, I like to give it to make it look like it's it's real, and then we do L, and then set it equal. And now all you do is say equals V, and then just copy that everywhere, okay? So those are quick side bearings. Thank you, and stay tuned for the next quick start video. Thanks for watching.